all right what's up guys welcome back another banger another appearance this is very rare i've right. seen this man two in a row geez what's going on what does he want from me <laughs> um what, what, what year was this so we got a 2016 toyota sequoia it's like the big big uh what is the term they say for it big mamalona right here this is a huge huge of a beast so they were having some issues with this car and uh i believe it was what misfires and stuff like that so i ran a tell on it and obviously yeah it's all bad poor car bad engine so yeah we're gonna do some basic stuff on it so first boy got these blue streak map just normal O'Reilly's but pretty much we're replacing the math first right here this intake cap off which is this now Blake is right here can you see dude sure. right here screwing the math into it and then we're gonna do the O2 upstream O2 sensors so they provided us with these Bosch should work fine for this car um as you guys recall I had bad experience with buying name brand part from an auto parts store but I don't I think it's just more of a Subaru thing rather to Toyotas and stuff like that. Subaru is just very finicky. But yeah, we needed two of these. So they're still coming with the second one. But we're underneath the car, I already blasted some PB blaster. Pretty much where the headers are, where it connects to the cat, it's very similar to a 370Z, the O2 sensors right there. They're going to be a bitch to take off, but let's get to it. But first thing, obviously, math right here. So if your Sequoia is having these issues, Possibly this can help you out. So we'll let you guys know how it goes. Cause yeah, this thing's having a ton of issues. Sorry guys, gonna interrupt this video with a small ad from a sponsor of ours for this video. And that sponsor is Yantu. Yantu is another brand that makes these uh, compact air compressors for your vehicle. They obviously know we have so many vehicles on this channel. They went ahead and sent me two of their models. These are only air compressors, so. Let's open them up and see what it comes with. First package, Yan 2 comes in a bag. And then the other package we have as well, Yan 2 Mini, I believe is called. And uh, this is what it comes with. All the accessories are at the bottom of the box. So first we got the Yan 2 Mini. This, uh, I believe this like uses a Milwaukee charger, it almost seems like. So it comes with like a rechargeable Milwaukee-like battery. This looks very similar to Milwaukee. Well, it clicks on and this is pretty much your Yan 2 small compact box it comes with the car charger or car user if you wanted it your air hose <clears throat> usb charger and then all the different nozzles that you would get to use with a small fuse that it comes with for like basketball etc so this is the yantu mini and then we got the big boy yantu so this one as well comes with all the accessories hoses wires everything you need in order to operate this but this one the bigger package comes with a massive compressor i really like this one this one works great especially for a bigger scale tire like the supra or the z this really tends to fill it up fast we'll go ahead and test it out real fast for you guys as well to see but thank you yan 2 as always so very convenient and then go ahead and turn on your yan 2 so we're gonna do the z the front tire at 35 so let's go set this up and what's very nice about this when you go ahead and click it on should give you the exact measurements of how much tire we have so we have 29 right now we need 35 and just like that when we get to 35 automatically stop and then we're gonna test out the small one on the supra so you guys can see how that works as well all right we got the yan 2 mini same thing you turn it on we're gonna go ahead and do this tire right here set it to the psi we want <laughs> and just like that the yan 2 air kits for your car thank you yan 2 for sending me this stuff very amazing products very very happy with it hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video thank you yan 2 for the sponsorship of this video appreciate you if you guys are interested links in the description peace all right so we're going to take the sensor and we're going to come as always this is a very highly recommended harbor freight kit the o2 sensor socket set this will have everything you pretty much need for every O2 sensor, but we're gonna go ahead and take this guy and then find our fit so that way it will give us exactly what we need to use on the vehicle. And as I guessed before throwing it on, 22 millimeter. This typically car O2 sensors are always 22s. So we have the angled socket we can use for it, the longer deep socket we can use, and then we have like the super long. You kind of just have to find out what fits your situation best and what we'll do i think for me and blake 
we're gonna have to use this fatty angle one because it is in a weird spot and it's gonna need some angle definitely but yeah that's it so when we start this i'll show you guys how to do that yeah so now we got the intake box right back on just two clips plug your math back in and uh, set to go probably after all this installs too you want to reset the codes on the car so you can see how it runs but anyways now we're ready to get underneath this we probably should jack this up a little bit to give us more clearance that's jacked up now we can get under here oh god so that's the headers right there those are that's the o2 sensor we're looking for right there you guys can see it's in a very tricky spot so let's see if we can do this and then this is your passenger side cat with the o2 sensor right up there so yeah pretty visible just some stupid shit in the way so this is the o2 we removed from the driver's side look at this it's a half limb i don't know how this happened this thing crushed on itself and then if you guys can see the tip is very very white so obviously this is the old o2 sensor we got our new one now physically inspect them they look very similar the other one looks round this one just looks flat straight it should be fine connectors are the same so Permanex anti C's on the threads. So if this does need to be removed, it's not a bitch. And we could go ahead and throw it back on. And uh, yeah, breaks under there. Getting the other side off right now. So yeah, this side, the passenger side is much, much harder to do. The other side was pretty easy. You guys can see it's that hole right there. We're gonna go ahead and now get a thread down. <laughs> All right, Sequoian people. Super easy. <laughs> This was actually pretty easy, surprisingly. New O2 sensor is installed right there, as you guys can see. And then for the driver side, Blake's doing it right now. This is the passenger side. Or passenger side, I mean driver side sure was done. left and right. So, to break it loose, the tool is pretty good. But if you have an Extendo 22 mil wrench like I did, with a V-cut, makes life super easy putting it in. And taking out right blake you you like that easier wrench was easier for you yeah yeah definitely. yeah so go to the store buy a 22 mil spend 40 dollars <laughs> that's, that's fucking expensive bro and then we're set to go but yeah now i'm gonna reset the codes on this car all right just like that we are finished blake is gone he went for the test drive and then he gotta take the car back um that was actually his parents car so hopefully it fixes the issue for you guys and Anybody else with Sequoia, if you want to see the video on how to do it, it's very simple. Use PB Blaster, 22 millimeter wrench, 22 millimeter O2 socket, you're good to go. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. You don't need anything else. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helps you guys out. See you on the next one. Peace.